Hi, and welcome to this instructional video on the Libby app from the Largo Public Library. In this instructional video, we will cover how to find ebooks and e audiobooks as well as e magazines. From the main page of the library website, you'll go to eBranch and download and stream, or scroll down and choose books and audiobooks, or choose magazines. From there, you'll see the e-resources page. Depending on your device, you may or may not have access to the Libby app, but that is what you want to use on your smartphone or your tablet, is the Libby app. Unfortunately, because of Amazon and the vendor overdrive. Um, so access is going to change uh, a bit starting in February 2022. So new users, you'll want to use the Libby app, uh, but unfortunately that is not available through Kindle Fires. Amazon has not approved that app. There is a browser version of Libby so you could use that in the internet uh, access on your Kindle Fire. Uh, or if you have another type of device, you'll want to use that. If you have an e-reader, you would use the PPLC OverDrive site. Uh, but best case scenario, use that Libby app on your device. You can check out up to 10 items per card, and again, that's ebooks and e audiobooks, and have up to five holds. In terms of the e magazines, borrow as many as you would like. Those don't factor into your borrows. So, the Libby app, this takes you to the PPLC OverDrive site. So, you can use this on a web browser. But you can also use the, the Libby app, and we're going to take a look at that. This is going to look the same as if you have the app installed on your device. You would go through the prompts to choose Largo Public Library and type in your library card number. I've already logged in with my card number. So again, your holds and your loans. From here, you can use the search button with the magnifying glass in the bottom left. When you're searching for an author, you just type in an author's name and it will give you the results. From here, you can see items that you can borrow or place on hold. Items that you can borrow. Up here, you'll want to change this. It'll say seven days. You'll want to change this to 14 days. You only have to do that once and then you're good to go. And then just tap on borrow. You can then open the book or continue browsing or go to your shelf. When you open your book, you can tap through and flip through the book the same as if you're reading it. You can also change the view depending on your preference. You can change the size of the font if you need it larger or the brightness. You can also change the font style if you need that different. So they are working on accessibility options. They continue to improve those. It will remember where you are, but you do have the option to use the bookmark in here. Again, just flip through. When you move your mouse down here or you tap down here, you can go back uh, to the main screen or you can navigate through to another page or chapter. So you have the option to click here, or you can click back this way. The books stack will take you to your shelf. So right now, I'm looking at my holds. So I have two items on hold. Or I can go and use the back button and see the loans. From here, I can open or I can manage my loan. So 
so I can return this early. It will automatically return. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you won't be penalized for it. Um, but you could return it early and let somebody else have it if you are finished with the item. In terms of your reading journey or your privacy, you do have the option to turn some of these settings off in terms of what it's tracking on here. I know a lot of people like to know what did they already read. If that's what you want, great. But if you don't want it to be tracked, you can delete your journey and not have that information tracked. Same thing with your timeline and you can disable them from recording your activity and you can remove all of your activity. It's private, but again, that's your choice. Um, what you want third parties to have access to or not and review those privacy policies. Back at home, you can browse. And so you can see what have we recently added or what timely lists have we added. So this is countywide. So uh, there's about a handful of us that uh, manage the collection for the county in terms of adding new material and adding uh, some of the different lists on here. So you can see all of those. You can see what's available now. You can see what's just been added. So you have some different ways of searching. You have the word borrow for items that are available. You have the plus sign will tell you what's available. For items that have holds on them, you can see the calendar here. So this one is about two weeks. Whereas this one that one's also two weeks. Let's see. This one's about three weeks. So you'll see the differences in terms of um, potential wait times. And you've got the uh, option as well, if you're not ready for an item that you placed on hold, but it's, it's ready to be checked out, you can slide that scale and borrow something at a later date within six weeks, which is nice. You can limit this to just ebooks, or then turn this off with a little X and see just e-audiobooks if you prefer. When you use the preferences in the refine, it's very easy to use. Just keep in mind, if you change availability to available now, go back and change your preferences because then you'll be calling and asking, hey, why can't I see this author's titles, what have you? Um, so make sure it's on back on everything. And then refine, you can limit by format, subject, audience, language, same thing with audience. If you change it to one of the other limiters, be sure and change it back so you can see everything in the collection. Or if you really just wanna see uh, young adult content or juvenile content, you can select one of those. With the e-magazines, you could search. That is one way to find those. So you could search for a title. And then you can borrow an issue. If you want to, you can be notified of new issues or not, and then you can look through the magazine. So you can just click through there. And it will flip through the magazine. You have your same options in terms of the text scale. You can try and increase that, um, but it's going to be a little bit different because it's an e-magazine. <clears throat> and you can look at it in a little bit different view that way. 
When you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see all of the issues for that magazine. And so you could then borrow that specific um, issue, and then you could change this to 14 days. When you're looking for a series, so it will tell you the number in the series. So for example, Moonlight Road is number 11 in the Virgin River series by Robin Carr. And Paradise Valley is number seven. So it will give you that information. And so it will give you the series list here and whether we've got the ebook or the audio book. If you find that you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, but you do also have the option when you click on the little Libby girl icon, you can get help from the vendor overdrive. And so you can look at the help site or you can submit a ticket through to overdrive if you need technical assistance.